Today guys, in this video, I'm going to be teaching you how to tame the best early game soaker killer in all of Ark, and that's this guy right here that you might have guessed, the Carno Taurus. Used to be called the Carnosaurus, whatever. This guy is an absolute menace and a complete beast early on for defending your base and for killing those pesty soakers that come and try to take all your stuff, right? So let's get into it. All that you need to tame this guy is going to be a crossbow, tranquilizing darts, four winter billboards, a spyglass, and then six regular kibble on official settings. Everything that I do will always be on official settings, all these numbers that I provide, okay? And if you do not decide to use regular kibble, that is fine. The foods that you're going to use in order from most effective to least effective to tame this guy, starting with regular kibble, is going to be regular kibble, raw mutton, raw prime meat and raw meat right if you're using regular kibble it's going to take you 23 minutes and two seconds if you're using raw mutton it's going to take you 27 minutes and one second if you're using raw prime meat it's going to take you 33 minutes and 46 seconds and finally if you're using raw meat it's going to take you an hour 36 minutes and 46 seconds right uh i would probably recommend just using raw meat mutton on this guy uh that seems to be the best and most effective way to do it if you have kibble sure go ahead use it and it won't hurt but mutton will do just fine so now let's get into how you actually tame these guys they're super super simple and these guys are phenomenal and i'll kind of get into that a little bit later on after we tame them i will also tell you about their stats and what you are looking for on your carno so all you're going to want to do is build a contraption just kind of like this that's that's a little bit bad but something like this you know and then kill these little buggers that are right next to you so that way you can leave the Carno in, right? I'm just going to go spawn a Carno in because, you know, who cares? I'm on an unofficial server. But hypothetically, you found a Carno, you aggro him, then you run him into this little three by billboards that you have. You run behind it and just place a billboard. Oh, maybe two. If you're not bad like me. Right, and that's it. Congratulations, you've just trapped your first Carno, right? Now, you're going to notice that he is going to start attacking the billboards. How you prevent that is you just stand at like the right distance away and he will not attack the billboards. This technique you can use on most dinosaurs in the game. It's very, very effective and easy. Also, if you can't get him to stop attacking the billboards, you can also just rotate what billboard he is attacking. There is no damage multiplier on this guy, so just kind of shoot him whatever until he goes down. And I'll be right with you when he goes down. All right, beautiful. He is down. Congratulations. You probably just knocked out your first Carno. Okay, uh, maybe not. Anyways, once he is knocked out, all you're going to do is put your allotted food of choice into him and then wait the allotted time that I gave you prior, right? I'm going to use regular kibble because I spawn this stuff in. I don't care. I'm a gangster, right? It don't matter to me. Anyways, I'm going to wait until he wakes up and I'll be right with you with everything that there is to know about the Carno, how you want to level him, how you're going to use him in PvP, and a bunch more. So stick around. Beautiful. He is awake. Congratulations, you just tamed your first Carno. Now, let's get into it. Now that you've tamed your Carno, you might be curious as to what are some good stats for my Carno and what do I want to level? So, fear not, I'm here to help you out, right? There's only two stats that actually matter when it comes to the Carno, and that's Big Daddy Health and Big Mommy Melee, right? These are the only two stats that absolutely matter on the Carno, and these are the only two things that you should level, okay? Now, as far as tame stats, for okay health, you're looking at 2,500. Good health, you're looking at 3,000. And then great health, you're looking at 3,500. Now, as far as melee, okay melee, you're looking at 200. Good melee, you're looking at 250. And great melee, you're looking at 300. So, doing a little quick evaluation on this guy, 3,000 health is pretty good. I mean, that's, that's solid. You could use that. And 431 melee damage is just, it's, uh, that's incredible. Probably one of the uh, best you know, melee damages I've ever seen on a Carno. So that is absolutely broken that I've got that. I wish I would have got this on a real server. Anyways, doesn't matter. So next, let's get into his abilities, how you use them, and how you use them in PvP. So I'm going to hop on this guy real quick. And this guy is really nothing special, right? He has two abilities. He has a left-click ability and a right-click ability. However, these abilities are special, okay? His left-click ability is the standard bite ability. This ability has a 30% armor piercing factor, 
which means if you are biting somebody with this left click ability it goes choose through 30 percent of their armor like it's butter okay same thing with a saddle if somebody's soaking you with an ascendant or a mastercraft saddle and you're using this left click ability it just it it 30 percent of that gets neglected which is super super strong but what is even stronger is this right click ability this headbutt ability and i'll show you why right here because this headbutt ability is a bleed effect this bleed effect does 10 percent of or five percent of health over 10 seconds not as good as the thylo at five percent of health for five seconds so it's twice the time but it's still absolutely phenomenal considering the fact that you can get these guys in the first 30 minutes of your arc wipe which is good so let me show you why this is absolutely busted and why this is ridiculously crazy so over here this stego has 650,000 health which is absurd you're never going to attain that on small tribes you're looking at about 100k okay is what the average stego health is so if i go to unclaim this guy real quick and i'm just going to use his bleed ability and to attack him boom and you just wait the 10 seconds it's going to take away a total of five percent health which at 650,000 should be about 35,000 damage. 35,000 damage in a matter of 10 seconds. Now that the bleed stopped, we go back and look. This one, yeah, exactly. I was, I was completely right. 649,000 drops down to 616,000. That's about 35,000 of damage in 10 seconds. And it gets even more wild, right? It scales with the health, but here is how you could absolutely shred soakers. You use the bleed ability, and then you just start left clicking. Once the bleed ability goes down, then you just use the bleed ability again and start left clicking. This saddle that this Stego has on is getting 30% of it's getting neglected. Bleed went away. I'm just going to keep attacking. And let's just see in that little bit of time how much damage I have done to the Stego after the bleed effect goes down. So let's check. It just went down. Look at this. Dude, what was that? What was I at? 615? So what? 50, like 65, 70,000 damage in a matter of like 20 seconds? That is absolutely absurd. These guys are absolute beasts for killing Stegos. And you should definitely have one uh, if you don't have a Thylo or get a Thylo. Because Thylo, they're just like worse versions of a Thylo. But they're still absolutely phenomenal. And I would highly, highly recommend taming them. As far as to level health or melee damage, it's your choice, okay? I would personally recommend melee damage because it has that armor-piercing ability, unlike the Thylo where I'd re recommend leveling health. But the, the bleed ability is the main factor, so if you don't want this guy to die, level health. Either way, you're, you're doing pretty solid. All right, so that's pretty much it. I'm going to leave you guys with three fun facts about the Carnotaurus, okay? Number one is that these guys were about 30 feet long and 3,000 pounds. So they were absolutely meaty and complete beasts in real life. Now, the second fact is a lot more scarier considering the fact that not only were they that big, but they would run 40 miles an hour. That is insane imagine this guy running at you 40 miles an hour in real life yeah i'd probably poop myself too and the last fact is that the carnotaurus actually stands for meat eating bull right which is pretty interesting uh especially when you get you know look at it and shoot it pretty well uh that's pretty much it i hope you guys enjoyed the video if you guys did please leave a like and subscribe because that means the absolute world to me i'm currently on a quest to reach 400 subscribers i'm currently at like 370 now so every subscriber i get you know just means a lot um and all the nice comments you guys have been hitting me up is honestly really thankful and i'm very thankful for that and it just helps me keep pushing uh other than that god bless you all and uh peace out have a nice day